here wants two injectors and I'm going to be doing valve clearances on all six cylinders so I'll take you through changing the injectors on a time lapse and then do all the valve clearances. So I'm just replacing injectors three and six due to a mechanical malfunction with them. I've plugged in with Davey and identified the diagnostic trouble codes, carried out a cylinder cutout test on all cylinders, confirmed that cylinders three and six were not causing an engine speed reduction. I stripped off the rocker cover to double check it wasn't a compression issue, such as a bent push rod or backed off valve adjuster, but usually with them the symptoms I get is air intake temperature issues. Since I'm changing the injectors, I'll also be changing the injector tubes as well. It's what I call standard practice as I've yet to encounter a serviceable injector tube you can actually reuse. The main focus of this video is the valve clearances for you, as I know it's always overlooked with the PX7 engines, even though it's such an easy job. The standard time for this job is an hour and the engine gets turned through 360 degrees twice. This is where we set the engine to TDC for the valve clearances. It's nice and easy. These two bolts I've highlighted need the TDC mark between them. No tools to put in the bell housing like on an MX engine. If only I could find the TDC mark. It's usually covered in 8 inches of paint. You can go round and round all day unless you know what to look for. I've just gone past the mark, so I've took the engine back past it, then brought it forward again to the correct place. Seeing as the rust has started to develop on the damper, I've highlighted it for you in pen to see. Now, the engine has two positions it could have stopped in, and you need to check what position it's in before you go adjusting the valve clearances. I find if you have play on cylinder 1's rocker arm, and the exhaust rocker lever is down on number 2, you will be adjusting the valves in this sequence next. If you don't, you want the sequence later in the video, and then come back to this one. Just check out the chapters below for that, or carry on watching. Valves that need adjustment are Cylinder 1, Inlet and Exhaust Cylinder 2, Inlet Cylinder 3, Exhaust Cylinder 4, Inlet and Cylinder 5, Exhaust The feeler blades you require for this job are 0.65 for the exhaust and 0.25 for the inlet valve. Now, I'm not going to go on about adjusting valve clearances as it's basic stuff and everybody should know the sort of drag on a feeler blade you're looking for when they're adjusted. So I've sped the footage up, but it's safe to say you need to adjust all the valves I've mentioned with the relevant clearances before moving on and turning the engine over 360 degrees to the next sequence. So, round we go, another 360 degrees. While we're here, it would be brilliant if you could give the channel a like, and even subscribe, as it not only tells me, but YouTube, it was a good video, and more people should watch it. Once you've moved the engine through 360 degrees, and back to the TDC mark on the damper, you need to adjust the next set of valves, which are... Cylinder 6, inlet and exhaust, cylinder 5, inlet, cylinder 4, exhaust, cylinder 3, inlet, and cylinder 2, exhaust. Again, to check it's this sequence you need, you should have valve clearance on cylinder 6, inlet and exhaust, and you should be looking for cylinder number 5's exhaust lever to be down or open. You can then follow the sequence of valves to adjust and you're done. Chuck the injector loom back in, the rocker cover on and start it up. 